Hi, kids. My name's Clay T. Bourne with my good friend Vern. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We hope you kids are ready for a great show. They look like they're ready, Professor. Well, I'm sure that they are. You yep. know, no matter what age they are, you know, kids of all ages can enjoy what we are got for them today. Ooh, what do we got, Professor? We're going to learn about God's provision Ooh. and how he always takes care of us. Provision, is that anything like food? Sort of. Oh, okay. God's provision is for whatever we have need of. Ooh, I need a raise and pay. Good luck. <laughs> Just thought but, I'd try. Yeah, it's worth a try, but it probably won't pay off. You can't shoot a bird uh, for trying. Did you get it? Pay off? Oh. That was a good one. Anyway, we better start with a song. I think that's a good idea. It's called God's Provision. Ooh, good title. So here we go. that song yeah god provides no matter what our need is that's right we just gotta look to god first yep always look to god and he'll see you through Every no matter what time. you go through that's right Every god will take care of you that's right our next skit is called no stealing uh -oh. and you know we don't have to steal when we know that god will take care of us that's right He'll meet our needs. You don't have to do the bad things that others do. Just look to God, yep. and God will see you through. So watch this skit called No Stealing. You'll like it. Hi, everybody. Wow, this is going to be great. I can get me some ice cream. Hey, James is going to get some ice cream. I wonder if he would get me some, too. <clears throat> Oh, James! James! Oh, I can't wait to get some ice cream. James! Oh, James! Come here, James. I want to talk to you. I really do hope James will get me some ice cream. I think I'll get some chocolate ice cream. James, you come up here right now! <sighs> what? What do you want, Maria? James, would you pretty please get me some ice cream, too? Of course. Maria, uh, you're my friend. In fact, I can get some, some ice cream for all my friends. 
How come, James? Did you get a job? No. Um, I don't have a job. Oh. Well, did your parents give you a big allowance? No. They don't have a lot of extra money. Well, how did you get money to buy ice cream? Did you rob a bank? Oh, no, Maria. That would be stealing. And God says in the Bible, thou shalt not steal. I would never do that. Well, then, how did you get your money? I found it. You found it? Yeah. I found it right out on the street. Oh, that's great. Let's go. I want some vanilla ice cream. Yeah, let's go. And I'm going to get some for uh, Caleb uh, it Ichiko, or was it Yuriki? Uh, something Who? like that. Who? Uh, Caleb Yuriki, which... It's a difficult name. I don't know. Is he one of your friends? Well, he wasn't one of my friends, but he will be now. I just got $300 from him. $300? Where did you meet him? I didn't, but I'll recognize him when I see him. Well, James, if you didn't meet him, how will you recognize him? Well, I didn't meet him, but I met his wallet on the street. And his picture is on a driver's license. Wait a second, James. You didn't meet him, but you have his money because you found his wallet. Did he give you permission to spend his money? Silly Maria. How could he give me permission? I haven't met him yet. Besides, I found the wallet on the street. Finders keepers. No, 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 James. If you just set something down and it was not in your hand, but I knew it was yours, would I be able to just go and pick it up because you're not holding it? Well, no, of course not. If you know it belongs to me, you just can't take it. If you know that wallet belongs to Caleb Eureki Koo, you just can't take it like that. Caleb uh, Eurichiki, um... Well, maybe he threw it away and didn't want it anymore. Well, I'm pretty sure it didn't happen that way. Would you just throw away $300? What? Are you crazy? Nobody would just throw away $300. That would be crazy. Exactly. Oh, I get it now. Um, maybe we should take the money in the wallet back to Caleb Yurk, Yurk um, first. First, I'm going to take out $10 as a reward. James! What? I can't even take a reward? Well, tell me, did Caleb, your hoochie, give you permission? What? No. At least not yet. Then you just can't take it. Okay, Maria. I guess that would be stealing, too. I should wait for permission to take something. Um, can I ask him for a reward? No. Well, why? Would that be stealing, too? No, that would be rude, and it's very bad manners. You just don't ask people for things, but we'll talk about that another time. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That was good. I like that skill. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she ever got the ice cream. Mm, I don't know. Oh. But now we're going to have a song. Ooh. It's called... Do not steal. Yep, that's a good title. So remember that, kids. Don't steal. Yep. Don't, don't do those bad things. Listen to God. You know, allow God, as you pray, God will meet your needs. Yep. Sometimes it doesn't happen right away, but if you'll trust God, he'll see you through, and he'll help you Every with time. whatever you need. So here's our skit, our song, I mean. Do not steal. Do not steal. It is theirs, not yours. Do not steal. You can do without. Do not steal. You don't need their things. Do not steal. It's not yours. Do not steal, it is theirs, not yours, do not steal, you can do without, do not steal, 
You don't need their things, do not steal. It's not yours, do not steal. It is theirs, not yours, do not steal. You can do without, do not steal. You don't need their things, do not steal. It's not yours. Okay, kids. Now we're gonna have a skit. Ooh. It's called Animal Crackers. Ooh, I like that one. I like Animal Crackers. Yeah, they're pretty good. Especially with whipped cream. But this one, it's gonna talk about what the Word of God has to say. Ooh. Yeah, learning about how we gotta repent. Oh. Do you know what repent means? Let's see, repent. Uh, is that something you do after you run a race? <laughs> nope. Repenting oh, is repenting. being sorry for your sin. Oh, that's important, isn't it? Yeah. And so this skit is called Animal Crackers, and you'll find out why right here. You'll like this one. You know, Billy, I was wondering something. Yeah, and what's that, Susie? Well, I opened your closet this morning. The one in my room? That's right. Well, that was a brave thing to do. Yeah, it was a stupid thing to do. I was hit by an avalanche of animal crackers. Yep, that was my room, all right. Billy, why do you have a closet full of animal crackers? Because I make a lot of mistakes. Billy... That doesn't make a lot of sense. What do animal crackers have to do with making mistakes? Well, I was reading the Old Testament. That's pretty amazing. Well, the pastor came over and was visiting. Anyway, I read that when the people did something wrong, they would offer a sacrifice and everything would be okay then. I think I know what's coming. Well, you're always telling me that I do bad things. So I decided I needed to make some sacrifices. Like they did in the Old Testament, where they killed some sheep and bulls and birds and stuff like that. You didn't kill any animals, did you? No. Mom's pretty attached to her cat, you know. And I would need more animals than there are in the neighborhood. And I found out that killing animals could put me in jail. So you got animal crackers. Boy, you're pretty smart, Susie. It's a great system. You know, there's about 20 in a box, and I have about 500 boxes. That means I can do um, 10,000 bad things before I run out of sacrifices. And how do you sacrifice your animal crackers? Eat them. I thought that might be the case. Billy, I hate to tell you this, but those sacrifices aren't working. Uh, what do you mean they're not working? I mean, God does not forgive you for what you've done every time you eat an animal cracker. Well, but the Old Testament I says... I know what it says, Billy, but there's more to it than that. Well, like what? For one thing, you can't be forgiven unless you're really sorry for what you did. You have to repent. And that means you're sorry, and you're really going to try to be better. Um, what if I might be sorry? Billy, if you were really trying to be better, you wouldn't have 500 boxes of sacrifices in your closet. Hmm, yeah, I, I suppose not. Well, God doesn't want sacrifice. Well, but it says... Forget about that. You have to read the whole Bible, not just the little parts. It also says that God wants obedience and not sacrifice. Sometimes the people had to give a sacrifice for what they did, but God would have been happier if they just did what they were supposed to from the beginning. Hmm, I guess I missed that part. I guess you missed the whole New Testament too, Billy. Well, the pastor wasn't visiting very long. If you had read the New Testament, 
you would have found out that people don't need to make sacrifices of animals anymore. They don't? No. That's why Jesus came and died on the cross. He was the last sacrifice needed. Well, what do people do instead? Now, when people do something wrong, the sacrifice part is taken care of. They just have to do the rest. And what's that? To repent, Billy. They have to be truly sorry for what they did. Sorry enough to apologize to whoever they might have hurt. And sorry enough to do their best not to do it again. Oh, wow, that's hard. It's very hard, Billy. It's embarrassing to admit you were wrong. But if you do, God forgives you and helps you to be better the next time. So I don't need all the animal crackers? No, Billy. But what am I going to do with them? Well, Billy, you could... Never mind. I have an idea. If I mixed them all up with 75 gallons of whipped cream... Don't bother to explain it, Billy. I'm sure it's disgusting. It's more important that you remember to obey God so you won't have to repent. You can count on me, Susie. Sure, Billy. Now say goodbye. The thought of all those crackers and whipped cream is making me sick. And it makes me hungry. Okay, bye, kids. Bye. Okay, that was sure good. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> God has a sense of humor, too. That's yeah. fun. He made me. That's why he has a sense of humor. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Mm. Just kidding. Relax. I hope, I hope so. We like having fun here, kids, That's and we right. hope that you do too. Yep. So remember to watch next week when we learn about salvation. Ooh, that's, yeah. that's an important subject. What God has for us. So be watching next week, kids, okay? And we'll see you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, kids. My name's Todd Stillings. I hope that you enjoyed the Puppets of Praise. What did you think, Vern? Oh, I liked it. It was a good show today. Yeah, learning about God's provision. You know, God can provide whatever we need. That's right. And He wants to. But it's up to us to ask Him and to look to Him as our source. Hey, it's so simple, isn't it? That's right. We just got to ask Him. That's right, you know, not doing what we want to do, not doing things the way we want to do them, yep. but to look into God for the answer. That's right. You know, God has uh, so many things for our future. You know, He's looking out for our future. Yep. Yes, you no, know, he He's does. already seen our future. So he, He's already prepared. He's already made provision for what we have need of. That's right. So, you know, don't look to stealing or some other way for you to have the things that you need. Hey, Look you know, to God. You know it says in the Bible, thou shalt not steal. That's right. Yeah, that's not good. I, I'd feel bad if I stole something that wasn't mine. That's right. And it's not right. You know, we should listen to God. We should listen to His way of doing things. You know, God has a good way of doing things. The devil uh, changes things around. He, that's right. he tries to make us do bad and to uh, get away from God because he doesn't love God and he doesn't want you to love but love God uh -oh. but we want you to love God we want you to ask God into your heart and it's, to know who God is that's a very simple thing to do isn't it Todd that's right it's so it's so simple uh, Vern uh, why don't you say this with me and kids you say this too Okay. Say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Please come into my heart. I believe. I believe that you died for me. That you died for me. I accept you right now. I accept you right now as my savior. As my savior. I confess you. I confess you to uh, come into my heart. To come into my heart. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I love you. Amen. Amen. It's so simple, See? you know. Just like that. That's right. God wants you to go to heaven. And you just have to ask Jesus Christ to come into your life. And when you do that, you know, things will change. God is on your side. And God's looking out for you. And 
He's going to provide everything that you have need of. So he thank you, kids, for watching. What were you going to say, Vern? Is he going to provide me a raise in pay? Um, well, he might. Oh, okay. I'll ask Stacy. Well, you better ask God. Oh, I better. Yeah, because God is our source, isn't he? That's right. That's right. right. You know, God is going to meet our needs. And, uh, but, but if you would like to help, you know, that would be great, too. That's you know, right. God uses people to meet our needs. Yes, and he does. He wants to use you, but it's up to you. Uh, if you would like to write to the Puppets of Praise. We'd like to hear from you. That's right. And Especially if you've got a birthday or a funny joke or something. That's right. The address is on the screen. Right there. Puppets of Praise, yep. P.O. Box 2001, Sandusky, Ohio, 44871. Yep. And thanks for watching, and be sure to watch next week for the Puppets of Praise. See you next week. Bye, kids. Bye. Hi, Vinny. How are you doing? What's it to you? What do you think? You're better than me? I know I am. Hey, guys. What's going on? You guys are friends. Why are you acting like that? Hey, bada 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 swing bada bada. Hey, you're out. Billy, what on earth are you doing? Uh if it's not right for me, I can do... Oh, hey, do you serve crabs here? Well, I guess so. We'll serve anyone. Are there uh, right? You can sit here. Okay. Are there eggs on your menu today? Mm, nope. I wiped them off this morning. I'm a soul man. Da 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 I'm a soul man. Da 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 Hey! Hey. Let's see. I'm not an electrician. Maybe an accountant. I can count real good. Hey, Susie. What's up with you? I need a job. You do? Yeah. Maybe two jobs. Really? Nah. Yeah.